Welcome again. Right now we're on John chapter 18, verses 1 through 11. Jesus is arrested. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples over the book Kidron, where there was a garden into which he and his disciples entered. I have to stop here. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. Sin came into the world in a garden. Sin leaves the world in a garden. Jesus is in a garden. I'm going to explain that a little bit more later about this. But once you see it, you are going to just, you're just going to want to jump through the ceiling. Okay. Verse 2, now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place. For Jesus often met there with his disciples. Notice that it says Jesus often met at this garden. But it doesn't say that in the, in the Gospels. It doesn't really say every time he went to the garden that he went. It doesn't say that. It just here, it just says he often met there. It's like, oh, really? Like now at basically the end of the Gospel, it says, well, he often went there. You got to you got to think to yourself, well, you know, there's a lot of things that Jesus did that is not written in the Gospels. If 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 he often went to the garden and, they, and we're only told about it now. Think about some of the other things that could have happened that we were never told about. Verse three, Judas, then having taken a detachment of soldiers and officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, came there with lanterns, torches and weapons. Oh, I bet Judas must have been very proud of himself. You know, Judas must have thought to himself, look at this. You know, hey, I got the government on my side. I got the police on my side. I got the authorities on my side. What could go wrong? Again, verse 3, Judas then, having taken a detachment of soldiers and officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, came there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all the things that were happening to him, went out and said to them, Who are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am. In the original manuscripts, I know in most translations it says, I am he. But in the original manuscripts, it said, I am. Again, this is the same I am that Jesus talked about over and over and over again that's recorded in the book of John. This is the same I am that spoke out of the burning bush to Moses when Moses said, what's your name, God? What am I going to tell the people? He said, I am that I am. Go tell them that I am has sent you. Judas also who betrayed him was standing with them. When therefore he said to them, I am, they went backward and fell to the ground. These people, when Jesus said, I am, it was like a wave of the spirit hit them and they all fell backwards. Like how you see in, you know, some of the uh, meetings you see today, you know, where people fall backwards. Here we got, it says that people all fell to the ground backwards. Okay. I know there would be people that would be doubting that. Say, well, you know, how do we know that they did that? No, it says here, they, f they went backwards, fell to the ground. Okay, backwards. Okay, if they were doing it in mocking, then they wouldn't fall backwards. They would be bowing forwards if they were mocking him, saying, oh, you know, hail the king. You know, but no, it says they fell backwards. Verse 7, again, therefore, he asked them, who are you looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way, that the word might be fulfilled which he spoke of those whom you have given me, I have lost none. And that is found in John chapter 6, verse 39. Also, may I add, just the last teaching that we did, John chapter 17, he also said that then as well. Verse 10. Simon Peter, therefore, having a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus, therefore, said to Peter, Put the sword into its sheath. The cup which the Father has given me, shall I not surely drink it? Here is a very strong man, Jesus. You know, he is ready to bite the bullet. He is ready to take whatever the world could throw at him. He's willing to take whatever the government, the, the authorities that be, could throw at him. 
he's willing to take it like a man. So that concludes our reading of John chapter 18, verses 1 through 11. May God give you rich revelation to see and understand the deep things of God. Call on him and he will show you great and mighty things.